for City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Natalie Langston. Now before we have fun in the sun this season, we need to know the basics of how to protect our skin from any harmful rays. And Skin Clinic here in Yaletown is the perfect spot to make sure we are ready. Now what are some popular treatments among celebrity clients that you know of? Some of the most popular treatments right now are cosmetic acupuncture, Gwyneth Paltrow, Madonna really like that treatment, it's more natural, as well as medical skin needling. It's been really big in other parts of the world, but it's really coming to Canada. So Angelina Jolie's been a big promoter of that treatment. Now what does your skin feel like after it's been overexposed and sun damaged? It's going to happen over time that you're going to feel the texture is going to start to change. It's going to become more rough. It's going to lose its smoothness and its elasticity. You can see the development of fine lines and wrinkles, as well as sunspots can start to form and redness. Now, as I know, the sun also affects your hands as well. When does this happen most and how can we combat this? People often neglect their hands when they're taking care of their skin overall. But yeah, our hands are exposed to the sun and the environment just as much as our face and neck are. So we really need to be applying our sunscreen as well as our antioxidant serums to our hands so that they're protected and they don't reveal our age a lot quicker than we actually are. For those people who do have the sunspots on their hands, is there, some, is there a treatment that they can use? Yes. One of the main and most effective treatments is called photorejuvenation. So it targets those brown spots and they just flake off over about a seven day time period. And then, but you really want to be careful after that, that you are still wearing your sunscreen because they can come back. So protection is always number one, but that treatment will definitely target those spots. In your opinion, what are three common sun protection mistakes? I would say not wearing your sunscreen on a cloudy day. UV rays are very powerful and they're always coming through the clouds. So you want to be wearing it rain or shine. Not reapplying it enough is another common mistake. And a lot of women rely on their mineral powder, like their makeup, to give them sun protection. And it's really not enough. What is the right amount of sun exposure for your skin? You need about 10 minutes of sun exposure to get the vitamin D that your body needs. But anything outside of that 10 minutes, you must be protected with a really good sunscreen. As we all know, men don't normally spend a lot of time on their sun care regime. What are some tips for them? I like to keep it simple with men. So using an antioxidant serum and using a sunblock number one for sure. And we have Jason here, our segment producer. Um, he's going to get in there and do some skin needling. Yes. What are the uh, benefits for men to have a treatment like that done? I think it benefits men and women overall because it's really focusing on improving the skin health. And if there's any damage that's been done, it's going to really put those nutrients and antioxidants back into the skin to help it repair. Crystal Jensen, Beauty Buzz 411 blogger and both sun and beauty guru, knows how to stay beautiful this summer while still practicing safe sun exposure. Now Crystal, summer is coming up and we need to be ready. What are some of the main tips in preparing for the sun this summer? I would say definitely use your sunscreens, um, that's number one, and uh, staying hydrated. Uh, most people don't realize that uh, big sunglasses are really great. The great thing about seeing big sunglasses is that not only you're protecting your eyes, but you're you know, preventing any fine lines from, from developing. And then definitely a hat. You want to keep your, the top of your head protected. If not, if you're not wearing a hat, you definitely want to be using sunscreen just a little bit on your scalp, just so that it's just covered a little bit. And if you do get those fine lines, is there anything that we can do to prevent that from happening? I hear it's because there's not a lot of hydration. Is that right? Yeah, you want, you want to definitely find um, uh, an eye cream that's hydrating, something that's really good for the delicate areas underneath your eyes. Uh, one thing at Skin that they do use here is uh, Rhonda Allison. Rhonda Allison has an amazing um, eye cream that I use all the time and it's actually got a little bit of a cooling effect to it. Now Crystal, if you do get too much sun this summer, what's a quick fix to repair your skin? Well if you don't have aloe vera, one thing I like to do at home is I like to take yogurt and mix up with strawberries and then you mash it up, add a little bit of honey and put that all over your body where we find that the bird is getting and it actually soothes it. So the yogurt is really good for moisturizing and then the strawberries are really good for reducing the swelling and the redness. Now so are there any uh, products that you recommend here at Skin? for people to use in preparing for the sun? Uh, in preparing for the sun, I really like to, um, it's not so much to prepare, it's more of a hydrating, replenish, um, it's kind of a little bit of a rep repair, and it's their afterglow. So I use it everything from my face to my shoulders to my chest area. To receive any of the treatments or products from today's show, just check out skinclinic.ca for all the details. So just remember these quick tips and you'll be summer set and ready to have fun in the sun. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Natalie Langston.